we should be ashamed in San Antonio and Bexar County. We're losing babies at such a fast rate, and that's why we've joined together and really put an emphasis on this. It is something Letitia Vandepute knows all too well. Her grandson, one of those lost. Babies in Bear County are dying at a rate faster than the rest of the state. And it's not from a disease or an infection. It's because of how or where they sleep. It's called sudden infant death syndrome. In 2011, approximately 65% of infants died from unsafe sleep practices. Last year, that number rose to 80%. So now doctors and those who've lost loved ones are banding together to try and stop losing these innocent lives. I can't bring my son back, even though I'd like to, and I'd do anything in the world to have him back. I can't, so the next best thing, which this to celebrate his birthday, is to save other baby lives. On May 7th, 2013, five-month-old Rex Vandepute didn't wake up. A baby boy gone too soon. It brings back that raw shock that you get knowing that the worst day in your life is when everybody wakes up and the baby doesn't. A parent's nightmare in four words, sudden infant death syndrome. And almost three years after he was found dead in his crib, Rex's memory lives on in an effort to prevent other families from going through what the Vandeputes have. In our case, there, there may not have been anything we could have done, but if we can do anything, we're going to try our best. And that's what Saturday's about. Saturday, the walk run for Rex will take place at Los Patios. The benefits will go to the Southwest SIDS Foundation to help provide safe sleeping kits to families that can't afford them. And the need is great, spelled out in life and death statistics. Bear County is the worst county in, in Texas. Uh, and Texas is one of the worst states um, in the United States. Every hospital system in the city joining together to fight the problem. City Councilwoman Shirley Gonzalez's husband lost his granddaughter to sudden unexplained death just two weeks ago. Dealing with the grief is something that you will never get over. The six hospital systems were all very competitive, um, but this is the time where six neonatologists from six different systems come together to try to make a difference. That should tell you how important this problem is. And I know you saved other baby lives through this. Unsafe sleeping practices make up the majority of SIDS deaths. Safe sleeping means any infant should be sleeping in their own contained environment, a crib or a pack and play, on a hard mattress or surface, without any items that could suffocate an infant like loose blankets, toys, pillows, or bumper pads. By the way, statistics so far this year are on pace to top last year's death numbers. We have more info on Saturday's Walk, Run for Rex, what it benefits, and the Southwest SIDS Foundation on our website at ksat.com.